lot of people can't read the language the book is in. And we had a dog there, and this dog used to run in and grab something by its back leg and drag it. And he watched the dog do it a couple times. The, the owner worked it, beat on it, pushed it back out. He says, watch this dog. He says, on his right shoulder blade is a patch of hair about this big. That patch of hair is going to stand up in the air, and when he does that, dog's going to bite. So you have to learn that about your own dog so that you can stop the action that you don't want before it happens. Because once it happens, it becomes discipline instead of a real correction. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 I got a question for you. Go on. You've had a lot more dogs. Good boy. A lot more dogs. The dog that at this age is going to run in and take that bite. Not a problem. I try not to take it out of them. They don't become the dogs that when you try to work them and they just get attacked for sleep. Once they learn what the parameters are and learn to settle down, they generally don't. Her dog wants to come in and take that bite a lot. You can see it. But I set some parameters out here and already he's stopping. And if you'll notice what I'm doing is I was making that parameter by actually asking him to come in. And when I saw him get to that spot where I thought he was going to come in, I stopped him and I backed him back out. So pretty soon I will be able to ask him in a couple more steps. Until I'll be able to ask him all the way in and drive him off the leash without taking that bite. Because he'll have enough confidence. Most dogs grab sheep because of non-confidence. Not because they're mean. Because you put them in a spot where they feel uncomfortable or it causes movement for them. He's feeling uncomfortable. There's a lot of pressure there. Everything is stopped, and he and he's got, he feels all that pressure. Oh so he says, oh "I can make this all go away. I know how to do it now. I've done it a couple. Oh I run in there, and I grab something, and these sheep just scatter, and all my pressure oh, goes away. Look, look, I can chase them. Now some dogs will get really mean. They'll grab something and drag it away. That's a different story. When, when, a, when a dog actually grabs oh something God. and drags Where's it away from you, are? that's pretty intentional." Most dogs that take a bite will do what, his, what this dog is doing. They'll run in and they'll grab something, and the only reason it'll get hurt is because it'll run away and tear. The dog won't be truly pulling it back and dragging it down. I've seen very few dogs that actually go in and grab something and drag it down and drag it across. Okay, because I, I was sitting stock, well, actually, the He may have been. And that dog probably it was not the first time it done it. There's some of them border collie people that just don't they don't get it. Because they're out in the big fields and stuff. They just they don't get it. Well it turned out that's what the dog is.